Hello, this is Jack and let me know if you hear me well and we're getting ready for another training. Hi Gail, hi Chester. Um, this today is kind of continuing on my favorite topic, but I kind of like your input before we get started. Then I will tell about the story about my new client. Then I will, um, yeah, ask you a confronting question. And then um, I will guide you to give you some, some ideas who, uh, how to move forward. So it makes sense. So hi, Gail, hi, Arlene. Thanks for joining. Actually, today we have pretty full house. And um, that always uh, does me well. I like interaction, asking questions, responding. So I'm not quite, I don't like to speak to the monitor. I like to speak to you. I do better when I get responses that kind of set me on ideas, on interaction, on motivation. So let's get started. Okay. So let me try to launch the poll. There's always a question if things work, but let me try it. You should see a poll what said, does a Google certification certificate batch on your website either increase website visitor trust to sign up for your service or it makes no difference? Do you think it will help to get seen as a, a more an authority you know, somebody who's not a starter, but has some knowledge and and website visitor kind of uh, value immediately higher before uh, they even speak with you, before they sign up. They kind of shape the ideas. What is it? A, a Google certificate, the Google ad certificate. So let me close the poll. How many ads? Uh, okay, we have a lot of. Uh, how can I close it? Okay, and then I should be able to share it. And that's always the interesting part. And uh, how much? 50. One second. I need to. My screen is kind of. I don't see it. Uh, can you guys tell me? Google Ads certificate, yes. So uh, let me make it bigger so everybody can see. 84%, 84% increase trust when they see the Google Ads certificate on your website. 60% things makes no difference. Huh? So kind of today we are in agreement that the Google Ads certificate help you to get clients. Okay, so that, that let's start with the base one. And then I have a second question. Okay, kind of is a follow-up question. And do you want to become certified? Do you want to become Google Ads certified? Do you want to certify it? Do you want to have that badge on your website? Huh? Do you want to get trained? to become Google certified? Do you want to get some lessons, some training? And uh, so if kind of, if you follow the training, you are very likely to get certif certified. And if you fail, no, I don't think so, but if you would fail, we, we can go over it with question they ask, we will address them. So the next time when you take the test, you will pass the test. Okay, yeah, of course. Huh? So when you, uh, let me close this because everybody responded. And then 88, 88 want to become Google sort of certified. Yes, and you should. And you should because kind of we want to get clients, correct? To get paid monthly. That all makes sense. So that brings me to a little story 
a true story. I don't make this up. So a couple of days ago, I got an email. I got an email from, um, I didn't know I was a plumber. I got just got an email that uh, if uh, I interesting in to call him, hmm? call him. So I called him and um, the conversation went uh, in that way that he spoke about his business and kind of what I always do is listen. Listen what he's sharing. Okay. So I kind of had him talk. He is a plumber, has uh, 40 employees, 40 employees. And then he said something what really uh, draw my attention. He said, we spent about $500,000 per year on marketing. And we're looking for help to do better on Google, to better on Google ads. He, he, he means uh, Google ads. And do, you, do you know what I said? Anybody in idea what I said? Yeah, I love it. You guys are really good. So I can help you with that. Huh? I can help you with that. I really said those words. Huh? I really said those words. I can help you with that. So Nani spoke. Yeah. But before I asked the credit card, I kind of was interested if they had problems with Google. So I said, uh, have you used Google before? Yes. And, uh, but we didn't have uh, much conversions. Okay. That, that doesn't, uh, doesn't, uh, scare me, but I, I asked where you banned or do you have problems with Google? No, I, I checked. With are you still listening in the Google My Business? Yes, but we did, we couldn't make it work. And uh, hi Francis, how are you? So um, uh, as I said, I asked him which budget do you want to start with, and he said uh, five thousand dollar for Google. But as soon as you get a uh, a positive error. Why we are ready to scale it? I said, okay. So I uh, and um, he. Um, so I, I offered my fee. I, I I shared my fee. I said my fee is fifteen percent of the ad spend, and um, and happy to start. So and then I asked for the credit card, and that was it. And then um, I, I'm. I created Google Sheet. I, I collected information. Uh, it was all the next day. First, I wanted the credit card, of course. I'm not going to confuse the client with a lot of details before we get the, the, the deal done. But I'm very, I'm kind of very happy uh, because of the opportunity. Because if I get this work, he's willing to spend way more than five. So let's say he, he would spend 40,000 or so, and 15% of 40,000 is $6,000 per month, correct? He's happy to pay that. So, and $6,000 times 12 is $72,000. Okay, one client. Now this is, this is not an average, but do you guys see the opportunity? Do you guys see the opportunity? No. Uh, so that kind of makes me uh, uh, excited, correct? Yeah, it makes me excited. I'm happy to do it. We'll put my energy in it. We'll create a new website. 
I cannot show the details too much. I don't want to confront that client with, uh, you know, with too much details. But uh, so that he hears it from, from another way, I don't want that. But uh, his website is okay. But I, I, I will create a new website, a new landing page, which I think is part of the problem. It's part of the problem. Also, that it probably did not bid on the right keywords is the second problem. And the third problem I see is they uh, um, they didn't bid high enough. Yeah, this sounds strange, correct? So if you don't get a lot of results or don't get a lot of clicks, and you off and you only bid three or four or five dollars, you don't get many calls. But if a call is worth one hundred dollar, now if you get a client call you fifty dollar or twenty dollar, then it's still a good client. So and we can add the call tax rich to it. Yeah, we can all we will all do that. So now comes the confronting question. Okay. Confronting question. Okay. Can you explain the negative keywords? Yes. I will I will explain the negative keywords at a second. Okay. So let me ask a confronting question. Okay. Okay. Do you agree that the reason why you don't have a client yet is not because Google Ads does not work? Is not. Do you agree? So it's not that you cannot cannot point that that Google Ads doesn't work, and that is the reason why you have no clients. It's the other way around. You haven't. You were not able to position it in a way that the client wants to do business with you. I know it sounds blunt, correct? I it is the sense that is kind of the sensitive sensitive uh, part of this training. It's not that Google Google ads works. Okay, believe me, Google ads work and business I uh I uh, are happy to pay for it. Okay, so Jack, why do you say the Google ad works? Okay, because, okay, so I did a search, Google ads this in 2021, because the average ROI is one to eight. That's the average ROI. Okay. So you should be able, you should be able to do a, a average ROI with my training. Okay, then there are four million business would do. Uh, where I found the statistic: four million, four million, four million businesses are running uh, Google Ads. Okay, so if Google Ads would not work, there would not be four million. So, do you agree with me? So the thing what we need to solve is your confidence that the business have trust in you, that you are able to position the service. You agree? That is the that is the missing part. It's not the service. Okay. You can even outsource it. The missing part is that if you have no clients yet, huh? Uh, it's because you're not you're not uh, ready yet. You're not trained yet. You are not feeling confident and um, and skilled to sell the service. Are you talking about call only ads? I I I call I I I speak now about Google Ads. Call only, not call only. Google Ads. Okay. Google Ads call only is uh, is one part of it. So we need to fix this. So one way to fix what? So first, how do you get confident? 
how how do you get confident? Okay, you get confident if you gain knowledge, correct? Fran said not confident enough or and overthinking it. Okay, practicing and get results. Yeah, the get results is kind of after you get the client. I'm speaking about before you get the client. Okay, okay, you mean you're not confident because you doubt if you get results. Okay, Google Ads works. I promise you, Google Ads works. You need to follow uh, certain training. Okay, gain knowledge. You need to become certified. Okay. And the third one, you need to have kind of a conversion, conversion method, okay? There can be a website, okay? But let's just do simple, uh, a call, okay? Not a lot, not a lot we learn. <laughs> hey, no, 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 it's not luck. Believe me, getting clients is not luck. Okay, you can learn this. Do you agree on those three points? Maybe I missed something? Just tell me. Okay. So, gain knowledge. I will provide the training for it. Certified, I figured it out actually with the three step. I felt, I, somehow, somebody asked me, Jack, how do you become certified? And I dig into it and I make the training. So I created the whole A to Z training now. So if you take the test, you will pass it, okay? And the curve conversion method, I will give you some scripts, okay? And the scripts are not difficult, okay? You just have to kind of say kind of the same wording. It's not difficult. I don't do, I, I really don't do tricky things, okay? I just hit the nail. Tick, 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 cards. That's actually how it works. So any business, are you doing Google Ads? No, I can help you with that. Yeah. See, I can help it. 80% of the consumers look at my Google for local business and call them. If you don't get found, then your competitor will find them. Okay. Then you speak about the fee, $500. We can help you to get my best product. When do you want? What is your credit card? It's all the same. Everything is the same. It's kind of the same structure. This is totally updated. It is not the same as 2018. It's completely new. Google ad interface changed and the training is geared up for it to become certified. That's the whole goal. You get, that is the goal of the training. Okay, the goal of training is that you become certified. You can show a badge on your website. If somebody, uh, if somebody speak of you or, you or you want to introduce you, you can say, I'm certified. So that makes a huge difference. Also in your confidence, huh? It's kind of you. You are, you know, we we kind of if if you got an, a certificate from your university or from other education, you're still proud in it. Proud in it, correct? You feel better, and that feeling better, and that feeling better increase your confidence. So Troy said, what is the minimum amount you request a client to pay for clicks? I, my minimum management fee is $500. I don't care. No, I, 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 if they only want to spend $1, by example, and they pay me $500, I still would do it. So I don't have a minimum fee requirement. But most clients start around $1,000, some $500. 
But if you have the higher end, like medical natures, lawyers, and those um, business who are already established, they go to $5,000 or so. So they go from $2,000 to $5,000 they start with. And then it's all about ROI. They understand the ROI play. So probably a good spend is $1,000 per month. That's a good number. Have you worked with insurance brokers? Yes. What about if we want to use your don't view server? Any way to show that our team is certified? That is actually a good question. That's actually a good question. But I'm not, you, maybe I, to do that, you have to pay for my batch. So you're not getting misused. But you can, yeah, you can say my team, but yeah, you have to kind of be part of the team if you can say it. Huh? Okay, so negative keywords, okay. Let me, that is actually a very good question. Okay, negative keywords. In a third bar, let's say I do Rufa and Boca Raton, okay? Do you want to show the ad? Do you, if they search for Rufa Boca Raton, do you want to show the ad? Yes, correct? Because they are looking for Rufa. Yes, okay? Now, now the next person, Rufa Paint Boca Raton. Do you want to show the ad? No, correct. So this, this, and this are the same words, correct? But the difference is paint because I don't sell paint, correct? So I make sure that one of my negative keyword is paint, and if one of if my if the neg, if one of the negative keywords is paint, my ad will not show when they enter this keyword. Make sense? So we want to make sure the ad is only showing with true interest. Does do you guys? So the, the typical the typical example is free. So plumber, <laughs> let's start with plumber. Okay, plumber, Boca, Raton. Okay, do you want to show the ad? Yes. Okay. Now I'm gonna do free plumber, Boca, Raton. Do you want to show the ad? No, because I don't serve the ad, and I add free as negative keyword. Make sense? It's that simple. Now, it is that simple to understand. Now we have to uh, now we have to come up with those negative keywords. How do you know what the negative keywords might be? Yeah, might be. That is built on experience. You will get trained on that. And also, if you buy those packages, the 40X or whatever, then uh, I will provide the negative keywords. Okay. Pat is asking, would you discuss the type of website uh, that you create for the plumber? Yeah, we'll see. I cannot... I cannot uh, share the details from the client, but uh, I might put it in a shape that uh, I can discuss the elements. Okay, what is the reason I'm not understand it? What is the reason for it? I'm not, I'm not sure what you, Gail, why do you need use negative keywords? Okay. 
Okay. When I enter this keyword, free plumber Bogaton, and I click on the ad, I have to pay Google, correct? When, when this person enter this in Google, so, so let me just do it. I don't know. I think most of the most of uh, the Google ads. Okay, you see this is an ad, correct? If I click on this ad, I, I the company who shows this ad needs to pay Google. Do you think the person who shares with free has the intent to pay the plumber? Do you think if he clicks on that website, he he's open to pay to so he's not, huh? His intent is no, I want something for free. So to avoid that, to avoid that, I make sure my ad is not showing. Correct? I will make sure free is a negative keyword and my ad is not showing. So I only show the ad when um, I only show the ad when there's a buyer intent. I call that buyer intent. Huh? So let's say how to install toilet. Good example of negative keyword. Oh yeah, yeah. You see how to install, okay? Do you think that how to how to is a negative keywords or not? How to are typically negative keywords because they are looking for information. How to means looking looking for information. Okay. There is there is not a clear buyer intent. Huh? So I want buyer intent. I want them ready. I'm okay to pay more, but I want to hit the nail. Okay. So that's what you learn in my training, all those negative keywords, and you get them actually, and you will learn also how that all works. Do you think this is a good keyword, best plumber? You think that's a good keyword? Yeah. This is a very good keyword. This is a very good keyword. Huh? They are looking for the plumber. Troy said, do you create a website or landing page for all your clients? No. But um, if they have a good website, there's no need. But this plumber, okay, this plumber, okay, you, need, you see the potential? If I do a good job, okay, if I do a good job, I probably earn around the $70,000 per year, okay? Do you think I can create a, a good website for it? I can put energy in it, okay? So this is what I always uh, say to you, okay? I have no problem with planning time and energy to set up a client. Okay, you, I, I call that a flywheel. You see, I call those flywheels. I don't know if you heard about that, okay? So I okay to do the heavy lifting in the beginning, okay? I'm okay to work in the beginning. 
okay when that flywheel is running okay it's not really over delivering it's not really that i i i'm okay to set up the client very well with good keywords with good ad with good website everything okay what will that do uh, uh, what will it do is not so much work every month okay because you get results over and over. the flywheel is turning the keywords are working the ads are working the website is working huh now i can work on the next client and the next client and the next client hmm? makes makes sense I, so i'm okay to to do whatever it takes to get a client happy and and put energy in it okay i'm okay with that and i i, I want I want them to succeed and I want it to set up properly. And then the result is that he keeps me paying and paying and paying month after month. So that is how I do it, all my clients. So I got, I signed the client really, and I think I got a right. I had five emails. Um, a bit of information. So the first month, um, we will be very intense. Communicate what you like, what doesn't like, experience, whatever. So, but once that month is over and I have set it up, then it's just a matter of scaling it. Do you use other tools for the research phase? What do you mean research phase? I don't know what you mean with research phase. You mean which keyword to use or which ads to use or which websites to use or I, I, I have no tools. Okay. I work with a system, a setup system. Okay. I do every client, every Google Ads client, I follow the setup system, the setup steps, no, 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 just steps, setup steps. It's not really a system. I do this, I do that, you know, I do certain things. Do you charge anything for the website? No, I don't charge for the website. I don't care about, yeah, I'm kind of different than some other. I don't care about the first month. Huh? I really don't. I have paid all my bills. That is really the truth. I've paid all my bills. I care about next month. My focus is always next month. I want him to be happy, so he pays next month. And when he's willing to pay month after month after month, over time, I can go on vacation and come back, and everybody's happy. Do you do you use a mix of pay for calls, ads, and services? Yes, I do. Do you create website or landing page? I will create a landing page for uh, this client. And Gareth said, Rapify websites are okay out of the box. They are okay out of the box, yes. You can customize a little bit. They are better than 90% out there. So. Do you have a landing page builder? Yes, yes, yes. I have a landing page, Rapify. I go to Jack Hopman, products. Let's see. I go here, check out Rapify. If, check out Rapify if you like uh, HTML. And if you like WordPress, then uh, you select the uh, Sales Armor Jack or Logo Team Jack. Hey, we have Logo Team Jack. Rapify, AG Sales Armor Business Rack, the Asimil. Logo Team Jack here. Okay. Good. Can you show us what Rapify landing page looked like? Oh, landing page look like, okay, yeah, 
Let's do the Plumber website, correct? See what the out of the box Plumber website looks like. It's actually, I haven't prepared this. So we'll see. Okay. Okay. So there's the Plumber website which has the different services, residential, commercial, repair, okay, the video test, the testimonies, the contact form, dynamic links, and the map. It's kind of pretty modern, correct? Then the, the different service they do. So actually, now I think about it, I could probably start just with a Rapify website and see how it converts and would you just use it? Yeah, I will run it by by the client, what he thinks, and then uh, go from there. So he has he has some certificate from Home Advisor, I know, and uh, he has some testimonials. So I will I will probably pick some good elements from his website, and I put an uh, ad is on this website. So I will kind of customize a little bit, but it is better than 90% out there. So probably change some pictures with pictures from him. Huh? So uh, personalize it. Yeah. It will do better for sure better than his current website. That's I know for sure. Aline said that's why you created log team in the first place. Yeah. So when I started in 2009, my problem was also websites. So, uh, and all my Google Ads clients needed a website, and I created that uh, easily. So, yeah, there's a lot of talk behind those websites. You see, what? What do you want a website visitor? What is the goal of a website visitor? You, that you take action, correct? And how does he take action is that he finds that information quickly. So I know a plumber client is either looking for residential, commercial, or repair. Those are those are the most searched niches. So I sh I serve them. So I I show them, and then they click on residential or whatever commercial, and they read about the commercial info, and they get called to action. So what that what I do is that the bounce rate is low, they find the information quickly, and uh, they, they get a clear to action. This is in Rapify. But the same the same uh, websites are now in local team check as well. Okay. So if you use one of the websites in Rapify as a starting point for your new Google Ads client, you have a good start. It's easy to edit. And then what I would recommend is add some pictures from the business, change some pictures, some, some badge, some IDs, and then you personalize it for the client. But editing is much lesser time than creating something from scratch. It's much easier to edit a text, an image, or whatever, than to create something completely new. Something create a website from new takes weeks, probably more than a month. Because you have to come with the content and all those things. Could you describe how you get them to pay directly for the ads, and then you pay a management fee? Bad. Okay, so this is a very good question. Could you describe how you get them to pay directly for the ads and then you pay for the management fee? Okay, so do you know how I do this? Anybody idea how I get them to pay directly for the ads and then you pay for the management fee? Okay, the simple thing is ask the credit card. 
Dus haal ze creditcard. Wat is je creditcard? Wanneer je wel niet staat? Wat is je creditcard die je wilt te use? It's an annual enter in the payment system. You can do a rapid pay, you can do a Netson Bank. There's, uh, there's inside apps, you have Rapify Pay. Okay, you can set it up and then you can set up uh, the payment system. So you set a payment gateway, you add, you add the client. So there's several solutions that you get charged. But the simple thing is bad, bad is just ask. Like anybody asks when you eat in a restaurant, okay, they are also asked you to pay, correct? Same thing. Don't treat it as something strange. Okay, just ask. When do you want me to start? Uh, as soon as possible. What is your credit card number? Okay, I do this. I do this all the time. Okay, when can I handle my business? As soon as possible. What's your credit card? Okay. I do this all the time. So that I get the credit card. I enter in my payment system to get paid myself. And I add the credit card in the Google. So Google shares the client for the clicks. But I need that credit card number two to get paid. You can send them also by link, but still you need uh the payment method you can also within google ads you can give them a billing access and they can enter their own billing information that is possible but you know don't treat it as special just ask okay just ask for it does that help you bet or you feel I'm not not ready. Will billing with billing actually they would not have actually the keywords. That's correct. You can give them access to the billing only. That's correct. Doesn't doesn't setting you can do. You thank you, Beth. I never had any problems asking for credit card. No. I also, but it's it's the way how you ask it. If you just judge it as special, probably the prospect also feels that is special. Okay, for me it's just okay. You want me my help, so next step is the credit card. Huh? Just one of the steps. You would use a management account to run his Google Ads. Yes, I always put it in my MC account. I don't want to get thanks after everything set up. Okay, I want to benefit from all my knowledge from 12 years. Okay, and I'm happy to put a lot of energy in it. Okay, I will, I will, I will. Uh, this is my flywheel. I will put a lot of energy. I promised him I will help him. I really feel with the client. We have a good connection, I feel, and I really want to help him, but I don't want to say after two, two months, okay, Jack, thank you for the help, and uh, now I can do it by myself. I don't want that, okay? That's not what I want. You teach us how to give them access to the payment only in Google Ads, correct? I can do that, yes. It's very simple. How to promote your Google Ads business? I will teach you that in um, in the Google Ad, in the Google uh, Get Certified training. I will teach you that. It's I will teach you that. It's simple. It's not simple, but it's just work. Are you going over the five slides? This is kind of my slides. Uh, I put it in uh, in Word document. So I kind of created those polls. I felt when I created those polls. I get the right introduction. So, I needed to get you involved in the training. So, are you liking, are you open 
to learn Google Ads and become certified? Are you open for that? Are you open to learn so something that you feel confident that uh, you um, can offer Google Ads and follow a simple script to get clients? Okay. And I said, yes, I need it since it, I already signed up. So the, I will do a webinar coming uh, Friday. And that will be the first. I will run um, a second promotion this weekend for the ones who missed it. And then we, we take off. Okay, then we will take off and get you guys certified. So there are about 20 classes, 20 class, mass classes, and a couple of uh, live training, kind of the things you asked me how to get access to um, billing, uh, understanding. So you will get, I feel the dry word, but I will also get you understand how keywords work, why certain ads are the best, why negative keywords is important, um, when to use, uh, send it to the website, when to send it to uh, call only, the bidding, the bidding, the, the bidding method, you know, manually or automatically, conversion. There's so much to learn. Then the goal is, you know, that you take the test uh, and that you can put that batch on the website. And then um, I will train you how to do the emailing, how to um, collect the leads, how to uh, how to create a website. There is uh, there is kind of you learn something. I want you to learn something. Would we be the first group to get certified? Yeah, I kind of did two trainings earlier, but I did not add the certification part on it. So now I added the certification part on it. So everything is geared to get certified. Make sense? So. If you get certified, you get confidence, you get clients, you get results, you get paid monthly. Okay, so that is the plan. Uh, I'm really uh, pleased with your feedback, with the interaction in this uh, training. Uh, the ones who sign up for the certified system, your first training is coming Friday. I'm working on the presentation, and if you missed the uh, the promotion, I will run another promotion this weekend, and then uh, we will uh, take off with the group. So with that said, I know you, um, I appreciate your time, and um, we'll, uh, we'll thank you for the next meeting we are on. Can we sign up? prior to the weekend so we can get on the Friday training. Uh, send me an email, the price is up. So so the special is, I did a trial special and it's back to $99. So, um, but for the week, in the weekend I will lower it again. So thank you so much and see you next week. Bye.